What's good YouTube, Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my City Skylines and modded Let's Play series. In the last episode we have terraformed this small mountain and placed the stadium on top of it and today I think we are going to decorate it a bit more and try to make it look a bit more realistic. So let me just show you what I have in mind. Alright guys, I'm not going to talk too much about this. Uh, I'm not going to go into a huge explanation, but uh, on the last episode I have mentioned that this uh, terraform experience looks a bit too plain and I think we can make it look a bit more realistic. Maybe we can add a few spikes and a few slopes, a few valleys and also of course place a few trees and rocks. So that's exactly what we're going to do on this episode. And by the way, uh, on the last episode somebody mentioned in the comment section that we should extend the monorail line and make a connection uh, at about the stadium to provide a shorter and faster way for people to get to the stadium other than buses and to be quite frank with you guys um, I've already planned out the monorail line and I had initially planned for it to go uh, through about this location that I'm highlighting with my mouse and eventually connect over here and not connect to the stadium at all, but um, that suggestion actually makes a lot of sense and I think uh, it looked pretty cool to have a monorail line coming along the, the, the mountain and eventually connecting to the stadium uh, with a station that goes right on top of the entrance or right in front of the entrance of the stadium. So I think that's something that we can try and do uh, on this episode as well. So without further ado guys, I am going to work on that and turn everything into a time lapse and I will meet you in a couple of minutes to show you what I've done. Enjoy the time lapse guys.
Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed the time lapse. I have just put a lot of work into this particular project and I think I have finally reached the final stage of it. So let me just show you what I've done. Okay, so the most obvious thing that I have put is this monorail connection, as I've mentioned uh, before the time lapse. And I think it turned out pretty well and pretty organic. And as you can see, there, there's a lot of people coming into the stadium because we're about to have a match uh, in a month or so, uh, in game month. But anyway, going back to this monorail connection, I basically put the station right in front of the stadium's entrance. I think it looks uh, pretty symmetrical and extremely well. Uh, it goes through this uh, curve over here that you see on your screen. Uh, right over the train line, it goes through this very smooth curve and this very smooth slope as well and from here on it goes downhill it goes right underneath the cables of the radio tower i'm not sure if you can see this uh, in this particular angle but the monorail line goes underneath the cables of this radio tower and it eventually connects over here which will then connect to the public transport hub likewise if we go to the other end uh, I make it come at about over here, again through a very smooth slope and it will eventually connect with this avenue uh, and then we will continue the monorail line uh, straight forward and connect to this uh, train station uh, in the future. And yeah guys, I just cannot wait until we have a lot of monorails uh, going through the mountain. I think that will look freaking amazing. And that leads me to a very important update, which is if everything goes according to plan, on the next episode we are finally going to complete the monorail line and we are going to activate it. So yeah, this is something that most of you have been expecting and hopefully on the next episode I will be able to deliver that to you. Another thing that I have developed uh, is a pathway network that pretty much covers the entire mountain. So starting off uh, with this segment uh, you've noticed that I had left a dead hand over here uh, from this uh, pathway that you see over here. Uh, this one that goes right in the middle of the buildings. And I've told you that this pathway would eventually connect to the other side of the district that would be on the other side of the highway. So I kept my promise and made this layout with a pathway that goes uh, through about over here. It crosses the river. And when you get to this connection, you have the option to go left and go through the stadium mountain that I will talk to you uh, in a bit. Or if you go right, you can come through uh, this path over here, go through this bridge, go right along the monorail line and eventually connect to the public transport hub right about over here. And it seems that we have some people using this connection already. Let's see what are they going to do with it. Let's see if they are gonna go no they're not gonna use it that's unfortunate that's that's another thing that I'm curious to see which is if people will actually use this connection because it seems like a very long distance for pedestrians to walk but uh, if I don't see any people using it I will simply replace it with a second road and hopefully people will use it but anyway we were um, at about this connection so if you turn left you get a chance to go over here and here you can turn left back again and uh, go uh, along the river pretty much which will connect to this road that I've also placed during the time lapse and I'm thinking I'm gonna put um, some fishing piers or some uh, restaurant piers that about this road I think it will look uh, very awesome or you actually get the chance to go through the tunnel that will connect to this side right underneath the railroad where we can pretty much come over here over the hill and eventually connect to the stadium moving on if you are at the stadium you can also catch this pathway over here that will go down the hill back again and will connect to this road right along the bay uh, that will pretty much connect to the um, commercial buildings that will be placed at about here and i'm gonna place uh, in a couple of minutes but for now, let me just finish up this exclamation. Likewise, you also get a chance to get through this tunnel uh, when you hop off this pathway, which will lead you to about this um, pathway over here that will go over this bridge, again, over the, the river, 
and then you'll have um, kind of a long tunnel that people can take that will pretty much go under uh, all this mountain that I created and will connect over here uh, where you will have a, a bunch of uh, fishing piers. So yeah, that's it for our uh, pathway network. Again, I hope people use it. If not, I will simply convert them into second roads and that will force people to use them. Or at least I hope, because uh, pedestrians, or in this case people, are more willing to cover long distances by cycling than actually uh, by walking. And there's actually something that I've just seen, which is uh, we have this segment, uh, which should not be, so let me just um, repair this, there we go. And yeah, that's pretty much it for our pathway network. Lastly, the final thing that I want to talk about is the landscaping. As you have seen, I've added a lot of details uh, during the time maps. I've placed uh, these hills, uh, uh, some slopes, uh, anything pretty much that would add a bit more detail and that would not uh, and that would make the terrain not look as plain. As for the trees, I have uh, this time only placed one type of tree, which is the carnivore, if I believe. Let me just show you guys what tree I used. Yeah, it's this one, the conifer number two. Um, I don't know, I think uh, when I mix a lot of trees, especially on a snow map, it creates a lot of noise. So I've tried to place just one tree and I pretty much like the results, but I think I'm gonna add another tree um, to this uh, pattern uh, probably in the future. I've also added some rocks, as you can see, I have one over here at about this uh, crater. I think it creates a very nice effect. And I've also created, or I placed another rock at about this crater. Again, I think it looks uh, very neat. Okay guys, but that's it for the explanation. It's time to go back into action. There's quite a few things that I wanna build before uh, ending the episode. The first things first is go to the Kazuyulele Mountain policies and apply the smoke detector distribution because we all know that we do not want this entire thing to catch fire. So this is just a way for us to prevent that. And because there are not a lot of buildings uh, in this uh, particular district, I don't think that will have a lot of impact into our budget. But yeah, that's pretty much one thing that I wanted to cover in this episode. And by the way, look at this guys, we have a game um, under progress. Hopefully we will be able to win this one. Uh, again, I do not know what is the result, but hopefully I will be able to catch the outcome of the game on camera. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, in the meanwhile, I want to finally start and place the commercial buildings that I told you about. So the first thing that I should do is provide a water connection. Oh, people are leaving the stadium already. Let's see uh, what happened. And it seems that we won. That's amazing, and look at our income, almost 40,000. And I believe this is the revenue that I've made um, out of the match. Is it this value or this value? I don't know guys, I will have to do a bit more research and see which one of these values uh, is the money that we win. This is really cool to see, seeing all these people um, walking in a line through this pathway. It reminds me of Lemmings, I don't know if you guys ever had the chance of playing that video game, but it was actually a very fun video game, I remember playing it for hours straight. Alright, but anyway, I have provided water to this part of uh, the mountain, and I think it's finally time for us to place some commercial buildings in it, so I am gonna select um, the zoning time, which will be low density um, commercial, and I'm gonna place some buildings. And I think I do not want them to go or to be bigger than uh, three tiles, so I'm just gonna place uh, some buildings over here, over here as well, and maybe uh, over here. And let's see them develop, let's see if anything will grow in here. Alright guys, our commercial buildings are fully developed, as you can see here. And I think now that we have a bus line over here, maybe I can add a few stops just for the time being. So let me just uh, do that and add a stop right in the middle. I think that will uh, look great. I'm only going to put a stop on this side because people have no way to cross the road. 
and quite frankly I do not want to provide that option because I think when we activate the monorail line I will pretty much delete this bus line anyway so there's no point in doing that. Uh, one thing that I want to see is if people are using the pathway to get to uh, the residential buildings and that doesn't seem to be the case at least for now but I will wait for um, some episodes or maybe some time uh, to see if people actually use this thing. And with that, it's finally time for us to place some parks in this area. As I've mentioned before, I want to make a fishing district over here, or a fishing zone, so to say, because this is uh, one entire district. And now that we're at it, uh, I also said I want to put a, a fishing building or some water building into this road, because I think that will look good. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So first thing that I should do is select a building that will look good in this location. And I don't know, I've been trying this off camera and there doesn't seem to be anyone, mainly because uh, first things first, this is a very small space so I cannot put a big building like this. So these things are uh, out of the question or um, they are completely excluded. I can however try and put uh, this fishing tourist building which I think will be very far away from the road but maybe I can squeeze it in let's try and see this okay that's that's pretty good um let's see i think this is way too elevated from uh the the, the water but uh i don't know maybe i think we'll keep it i think that's better than nothing all right guys i've just modified the terrain and i've also um added water, some power and also a pathway to make uh, coming in to this um, restaurant or this fishing tourist building uh, much more realistic but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it because I think putting a power connection or a power line like this and a water connection just for uh, this insignificant park uh, might be going to overboard so you let me know guys should I keep this building or should I delete it it's up to you and finally it's time for us to make our fishing district or our fishing zone and uh, I'm I'm not going to um, overcomplicate things I'm just going I'm just gonna make a simple layout uh, I'm gonna select the fishing tourist building and I think I'm gonna place them right along the coastline and then I'll make a road to connect all of them so let's start uh, over here I'm gonna place a park over here uh, I also need to be self-conscious about the cost of uh, each of these buildings so I think I'm not gonna put uh, too many of them so I'm gonna put a fishing pier right next to uh, the fishing tours building uh, right about over there and I think we can even place uh, some more uh, the restaurant would be a good addition I, but it's too expensive I'm not sure I want to put this uh, I can put a marina, but uh, marinas or the boats that come out of the marinas make too much noise and that wouldn't be a fit for a fishing zone. This is supposed to be a calm zone. So I think I'm gonna put yet another fishing pier right about here. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Maybe I can just add this uh, restaurant or wait a second, let me just see what kind of buildings do we have here. We have the floating cafe and the fishing island. Uh, yeah, the fishing island. Hmm. What about if I put it here? What's the cost of this? 144. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. I like it. I'm just gonna uh, adjust this a little bit just to uh, make it a bit better. And I think I'm gonna put it right about over here. And yeah, this will be our final layout. So now I just have to uh, connect all of this, provide the road access. So I think I'm gonna make a road that will come at about here. Is this enough to connect the two buildings? Yes, it is. And another road at about here. Good. And finally, another road at about here. Alright, so this is enough to provide road access to all the buildings, so now I just need to uh, connect all these road segments. 
All right, guys, I have changed my mind. I have deleted the existing rule segments that I have previously built and I have placed uh, everything all over again. I think this way we have a much smoother uh, road connection. I have also went ahead and connected the pathway that comes out of this tunnel to the uh, road so that now we have a direct connection to these parks and they are all disabled for now because they do not have a power connection. So yeah, um, this uh, layout is uh, pretty much uh, flat at this point, there's no trees and I think that's something that I'm going to work on uh, at a future stage but for now I think we are uh, pretty much going to keep it like this. So, um, moving on ahead, just to wrap this whole thing up, I think I will want to make a connection to this road. And um, as I've said, uh, this area uh, still needs work, I'm going to work on it in a future stage, but for now I think I'm going to make a very simple road connection, uh, very far away from this intersection to avoid uh, traffic issues, so I'm just going to come uh, all the way over here. Alright, I think that will work out for now. Let me just resume the simulation and make sure that um, everything is under control in regards to traffic. Alright guys, I have just uh, provided a power connection and I've also enabled these buildings. So uh, yeah, it seems that we even have some people using them, which is uh, very nice to see. And look at this, people are using our pathway to get to these parks, that is awesome. Let's see if people are also using this pathway as well. Yes, they are. This is great. This is very great to see. Oh, and look at the people using the tunnel. Let's see if they hop down through here. Yes, they are. Look at this, perfect. This is beautiful. All right, just in case you're wondering why I'm making such a low income, that's because I'm recovering from massive death wave. Uh, so yeah, that's a reason, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much on that, that will eventually be fixed. Uh, for now, before I wrap up this episode, there is something that uh, I want to build, one final project, uh, something that I have even mentioned on the last episode, which is to make a cobble car connection that will connect the top of the mountain to uh, the downtown area of our city. Now, I've been thinking as to how I should do this and maybe I'm gonna make a stop right about over here and I will make the line go uh, through about this direction and cut through the park, the central park, come at about over here and then probably continue until this way uh, at about the downtown area, maybe even at the, um, the docks. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, let's let's try and work on that. So the first things first I'm gonna put this on uh, Yeah, let's leave it on tree speed because I want to put this death wave behind my back as soon as possible Hopefully by the end of the episode So let's make our first uh, cable car stop and I think I'm gonna put it Let me just see if I can choose a proper location for it. I Think I'm gonna put it right about over here all right, uh, I don't really like uh, what it does to the terrain, so I'm gonna try to adjust it as best as I can. And I think this is great, yeah. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. I'm just gonna delete some of these trees because they're in the way. And there we go. All right, I think that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm doubtful regarding this monorail line. Hopefully we can make something that will not interfere. Maybe if we come through here. How well does that look? Hmm. Let's try and put this one block to the left. Delete this. And make a quick segment over here. Quick segment over there. And now I hopefully I will be able to make uh, some proper connections. Yeah, there you go. I think you can rebuild from here and keep going. And I think I will want to come at about here. Maybe I can overpass this stadium. That doesn't seem to be the issue. Okay, there we go. Perfect. 
so far so good and now uh, yeah let's let's see what you can do let's see how far we can go downtown maybe I will have to elevate this thing a little bit but it seems that this road is in the way so let's try and make a stop at about here okay another one at about here maybe I can even go a bit further to make it look less awkward maybe at about here how well does it look all right perfect now let's keep going now this is gonna be an issue because this is um, right on top of the highway and I need to find a way to get through it so I think I can come all the way across here oh but this way I'll go uh, right against the watchtower that cannot be so I need to find a way to do this oh maybe I can come all the way until here all right that's that's pretty good let's keep going let's see what we can do with this oh look at it I found a proper connection or a proper place for a connection there we go and let's just keep moving forward and go at about over here like this oh no that's that's just terrible let me just delete it okay there's gotta be a way to do this uh, maybe I can come at about over here okay that's pretty good and now I will want to come at about over here okay again that's pretty good now let's finish up the connection all the way until here and what seems to be the problem oh look at this I think this is it yeah yeah let's let's just check it out let's see how it look okay that is pretty awesome indeed maybe I can raise this one a bit better or a bit more uh, yeah let's let's just do that let me delete this connection over here and grab this endpoint maybe I can connect it directly how about that yeah I think that's gonna be it let's try it okay that looks pretty good pretty good indeed and yeah that is um, a cable car connection it is not uh, very imposing on the city map when you look at it like this but hopefully when we get it rolling and we activate it uh, maybe it will look better so I'm just gonna put a end of line uh, cable car stop I need to find a proper location for it and I think uh, this will be it and I'm gonna connect this segment to this segment and is this uh, change too abrupt uh, yeah I think it is so I think I'm gonna uh, decrease the height of the line a bit more when it gets to about this location so uh, let's lower it a bit over here and connect it over there all right I think that's much better much better indeed now I'm just gonna disown this and resume the simulation and see if we can get some cable cars oh look at that our first cable car let's ride it all right guys here it is our cable car connection i even raise these pillars uh, this one and this one a bit more just to make the um descending part of the line uh, smoother and i think it turned out pretty well unfortunately we don't have a lot of passengers uh, using these things as you can see for example this one has zero passengers and the one on front also has zero passengers so uh, I think that's because we don't have a lot of buildings in this location and because of that there's pretty much no point in people uh, coming through this part 
uh, of the city unless there is a game going on. So the next game we have at the stadium, I'm gonna check out if people actually use these cable cars. Let me just click on this and see. Oh, there's one passenger using this. Okay. And there's also another uh, person that I've seen entering into this building. Let's see if that passenger gets out of this building. Yes, here he comes. Look at him. Hidden over here. Oh, it's a worker. That's disappointing. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. We have managed to do a significant amount of progress in this episode. Uh, on the next one, we are finally going to activate the monorail line. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, if so, please consider giving it a like, it will help set my channel. Also don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the development of this city. If you have any suggestions for things that I should build in the future, leave a comment. And finally, if you want to connect with me on social media, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, have fun. Peace.